So here's the deal. Everything here today is going to be sold as is, where is, without any guarantee written, or expressed, or implied, and you're buying on your judgment and your judgment alone. So if you think this is a box of peanut butter, that's fine. It's up to you to think whatever you want as long as you pay your bill for it. Okay? But it doesn't matter what Chuck calls this. If he calls this a bucket of gold, if you're not paying attention and you bid, you still buy it. Okay? So you're responsible to be accountable for the items that you bid on. I recommend, folks, that you use your white bidder number to bid with so that you have it ready when we want to call your number, okay? Because if you have to take it out of your pocket, this three-hour auction is going to take five hours, okay? So keep your bidder cards ready. Don't, don't hide them under your hat or in your butt or wherever you keep them. Have your bidder cards ready, okay? We appreciate that. And, uh, and when you bid on an item, okay? Here, Chuck, hold this. That just happens to be the item of the day. When you bid on that item and I say sold number 385 or whatever your number is, that item at that second becomes your responsibility for two things. Number one, to pay your bill. Number two, to do what you want to with that product and make a pile out here or do whatever you want to do. But you cannot, under any circumstances, take any merchandise from this property to your car without a paid receipt and checking out with either Danny, which is, or Danny, for Danny. Danny's back there in the blue shirt. Okay, that's Danny. Where's Trina? Trina, Danny. Trina's down here. Okay, so Danny and Trina are going to be out here, out in this region, all day today to make sure that nobody goes past those cars out on that street with their stuff. And they're also going to regulate if you're ready, if you paid your bill and you're ready to take your merchandise, you can back your car in here with their permission. Okay, that's why we never park in the lot because we want to be able to help people load out if they want to load. If all you came for is tools. And not want you can pay your bill, come up, load your tools up as long as you have your receipt. Okay, now on the other hand, all merchandise you bid on is your responsibility, so there's absolutely no chance at all in my company for you to go to the office and say, I, I did uh, somebody stole my wrench, I paid $20 for the wrench, somebody stole it. Okay, there's no chance ever for refund, period, at this auction, will not happen. So, we recommend if you're concerned about your items. Then you build a pile out here in the garage or in the gravel or anywhere you want to or if you buy a table full use your table above and below and make yourself a pile okay if you're worried about a valuable item or something you bought let's say you buy a, a snap on set or something like that and you want and you want to protect it you may go at any time pay your bill run it to your car and come back and you can do that 10 times a day if you want to okay you pay your bills often as you want okay but uh, but, it's, but it, again i want to make sure you know it's 150 percent your responsibility okay um, so there's no chance of refund. So I've made that perfectly clear. Everything's so as is. Back here. All bills have to be Stay paid good. today before you leave. Okay? Before you leave today, all bills have to be paid in full. If you pay cash, there's a 10% buyer's premium. That means if you bid on this item again, we sold this item a lot. If you bid, if you bid on that item and you spend ten dollars on that, when you go to the office to pay, it's going to be eleven dollars plus tax. Okay, and the only people who do not pay sales tax are people who are, have a, a valid Arizona reseller certificate physically in their hand, not in their head. Okay, and not on your phone. All right, it's got. To, I have to have a physical copy of it on file with uh, for the feds. Okay, so every bill has to be paid in full today. Pickup is going to be today. You can pay your bill, pick it up during the auction, uh, and I'll make another note on that. It's also going to be two hours after. We'll be here for at least two hours after this auction's over for you to load up your stuff and all that kind of stuff. Everybody be courteous because this is all the room we have right here to load up stuff. Okay, so everybody be courteous to each other. Um, and then tomorrow, we'll have two people here available for you for pickup uh, between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. When is pickup tomorrow? 9 a.m. 11 a.m. It's important because somebody's going to ask. Someone will ask, okay? And, and listen, those people that are gonna be here tomorrow for pickup for you are not here to load your goods. And they're not here to make sure that your goods are here. They're just here to have the property open so that you can get in here and get your stuff. They're not here to help you load. So make sure you bring your own truck, make sure you bring your own equipment, make sure you bring your own help. Because if you got that refrigerator, Michelle's not coming in your rig, okay? What, yes, and you have a question? Yeah, you, we're not going to let anybody back up to load unless you got a pile up there ready to rock and roll. Okay, so just just for courtesy for everybody else. Okay, so so that's that. Um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've got several people here on staff today. Uh, Chuck's going to help me remember everybody. I already introduced you to Danny and uh, Trina. 
Um, I've, I've got my brother Wayne Hollins, uh, and, and he brought his beautiful wife Sue today. They drive in from South Dakota to help us with all of our auctions. We appreciate you making a long trip down here just to help us out and, and all that. Uh, we've got Michelle over here, Danny's wife. She's going to be one of the people here on uh, security for you tomorrow or, or opening the property for you tomorrow. Um, we've got the most important, important person in the place here today that you want to be the nicest to of anybody and thank her for what she does is Peggy in the office because Peggy right is right here and she <laughs> is the one that's taking your money and you never want to piss off the woman that's taking your money. Just that simple. Okay? That's her. And then along with her is Miss Linda and Miss Linda is right back there. Say hi. Everybody knows Linda from the store. Say hi, Linda. Hi, if you haven't been to our store on Smoke Tree McCulloch, uh, you, you need to go. It's a pretty neat store. How many people have been in there? Nope. Two of you, okay. <laughs> All right. We appreciate that. But our staff, now, I, I introduced, did I forget anybody other? Chuck, I know you. Huh? Well, I never do buy them. My permanent last. number B. I got to get it. Well, he's best Chuck, Chuck drives yeah, in from the northern reaches of the uh, Yonka yeah. Valley up here and, and comes down and helps us out every auction. And he's, he's the one that's going to be showing stuff and marking your stuff and all that kind of stuff and all that. And ladies and gentlemen, we run a, an international company out of two geographical locations here, one here and one in Washington State. I've been in business 38 years now. Uh, we got my license in 19, uh, or 1986, and I've been going ever since, never worked for another man since then. And I'm very, very grateful for the opportunities we have and stuff like that. But in order for a guy like me to create a mess like this, you have to have somebody who's extraordinary at cleaning up the mess. That person in my life is Miss Violet, and she's right where, right over there. So, hi, Violet. Hi, Violet. And if you haven't seen her biceps, don't give her shit either, because she'll knock you out. Okay? <laughs> Just saying. And, so, all of our staff, guys, all of our staff is uh, people who do things themselves. Uh, they sell on the internet, they sell the garage sales, they do estate sales, they. They, they, they are buyers and sellers of merchandise themselves. They don't own anything in here, neither do I. So they are welcome to bid and they're welcome to buy. And, I, and I've heard, I heard some nasty, wonderful, lovely lady one day say that my staff is here to buy stuff for me to put in my store. I can tell you that's categorically false. And anybody who knows me and knows our company and knows what I've got in my store knows it's nobody's buying for me but me. And if I buy, it's either on absentee or I'll tell you. Okay, so uh, these guys are buying for themselves and they are, um, they're paying their bills just like you do, including buyer's premium and everything else, and they're responsible for that, okay? Uh, yes, Michelle, again. I just wanted to point out that the stuff that you buy at or you sell, you do not bid against anybody here. If somebody, if there's people that are interested in it, he does not bid. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll often, if, if nobody's interested in that thing and I've got interest in it, I'll, I'll, I'll open the bid at 10, but I won't bid against it if you bid. I just, I just don't do it. I'm 38 years, I just don't do it. Can you turn that off, that speaker just that way a little bit, please? Just, just so we can, there you go, that's a little bit better. Or I like to say a little bit better. So there, this, and and, uh, if, and when I get done with this phrase, anybody who knows this to be a fact, would you just give, give me an amen, please? There's absolutely no BS auction games in this auction at all, even to the point of I will not allow a buyer to, or a seller to bid on their own stuff in my own gallery auctions ever in a million years. We do not screw with our crowd here. The only reason we can make money and the only reason we can get things done for the people is that correct or is that correct? Amen. Amen. Yeah. You've been here, you know. If you haven't been here, talk to people who have. We appreciate that. Uh, what am I forgetting? Anything? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So pay your bill in full. If you, if you buy that thing for a 10, it's $11 for cash. If you pay any debit card or credit card, it's 13% buyer's premium, not 10. Uh, they were good about informing you that in the office. And the other thing is, we do not take American Express, so leave home without it. Okay? <laughs> Right, and and no, and, and the other thing that we always point out, guys, uh, is collusion. Collusion is where you and you look at the same rack of stuff and go, "Well, I want to buy the whole rack," and you say, "Well, I want to buy that one thing." So I'll let you buy the whole rack, and I'll buy the one thing. That's collusion. It's illegal. We don't allow it. If we catch you, you'll be off and gone. And you'll never come back ever. And we have physically prosecuted people before for that. It's absolutely unethical. Okay, and we will not allow it. Okay, so don't do it. Um, other than that, guys, um, I'll tell you, uh, we are so grateful. We leave tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. for Washington State. We go up there for the summer. We have, that's where my main gallery is, where I started. We're going up there to do swap meets over Memorial Day, Labor Day, and Fourth of July weekends, along with big auctions. We do a lot of law enforcement stuff, and uh, we do a lot of firearm auctions. If you know us, you know we're big on firearms. Um, we do not take our freedoms of being able to do our business that we do, which is a blast, for granted. We just simply don't take it for granted. Part of that is you guys. 
All of you who've ever served in the military, any branch, if you've served in the police department, if you've served in the, in the fire department, if you've served this country in any way, shape, or form, men, ladies, whoever, you need to know that John West does not take you for granted. Okay? We can't have the blast that we have in life without you guys and all the dirtbags in the world that are giving you shit need to go somewhere else. That's all I gotta say about that. Okay? And, and here's the deal. So I choose, in my family, in my business, I choose to respect the flag and respect the people that serve this country and give us our freedoms. And we ask everybody in the room, unless you're a veteran that uses your hat as a salute, we want you to remove your ball caps, please, as we all will join in the Pledge of Allegiance to the to a beautiful nautical American flag right there. We appreciate you guys. Thank you for taking off your hats and respecting this great country, the people, and our flags. Hey, Ollie, take off your damn hat. You ain't no veteran. I'm teasing, he is. All right? <laughs> All right, guys, Chuck, if you would please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, you guys ready to have an option? Good. If you're ready, say I'm ready. All right, let's do that. Before we start, just do this, guys. Look at the person on your right and say this. Say, by the looks of it, I'm a lot more excited than you are. Now, now look at the person on the other side say this. Say, I can tell by looking at you. I got a lot more money to spend than you do, too. All right. 